Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today is the two year anniversary of Casey and I starting this booktube channel. I can reach for a well-worn book to give me an escape. Much like last year when we hit our one year anniversary on booktube, I made a video that was just like a compilation of pulling clips from every single video for that first year and smashing them all up into just like a little nostalgic look back at the first year on booktube and I decided to do that again for the second year. So if you want to watch the first year montage video, I will leave that linked down below, but this is just from that point onward. So this is our second year on booktube. Um, and it's just a couple like clips from every single video. Unfortunately, we didn't post as much this year as we did on our first year due to many reasons, but mostly declining mental health. Um, Casey and I have not been doing our best, which is also why we haven't uploaded anything recently. I feel so out of practice filming this clip for this video. I'm just like, how do I do this again? Oh. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna jump on into it and roll the footage. So here is a look back at our second year on booktube here on for our booktube anniversary. Hello friends. It is. Saturday, February 13th. I was like, it's a day. I don't, I don't know. Everyone look cute for five seconds. <laughs> We're doing reading sprints. It's a war breaker reading sprint. There you go. Alex nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck was I about to say? Did I forget to film an intro to this video? And this is Brianna from the end of the vlog filming the intro? Maybe because I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> this is fine. Oh man, the wavies. That's interesting. Getting ready for the Atlantis live stream, and this is what I look like. This, this is it. From here up, just this nice boob thing I got going on. I've got these upper arm bands and then these like wrist ones, which I like. I realize I haven't filmed an update. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> I realize I hadn't filmed an update clip for this yet. It's the day before the live show, and I thought I would do a full test. <laughs> I know it's cheesy, but what keeps me going is knowing you. Get tough, your smile's enough to be my cheering charm door. My heavy heart gets lighter with every Um, I also really did love the description of the crab claws as garden shears with serrated blades. That's fun. We're we're loving this so far. I don't know who we is, but it's really great so far. They were emerging from the edge of the tide like a host of behemoths rising up from the mighty deep. The giant crabs had arrived. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I could get past the texture, and maybe I couldn't. I don't think I've ever eaten anything with like bugs in it. I'm, I know I've eaten like products of bugs, like dye. A lot of dye is from bugs and stuff. But because I used this as like a reward for finishing the draft. I feel like I need to hit like some other milestone before I'm allowed to commission another one because I don't have like a lot of money to spend on that sort of thing. So it's like I have to feel like I've earned it, you know? And I haven't earned it. <laughs> so I'm not crying, you're crying. Okay? <laughs> but you I mean Casey, you're crying. I don't know if that's showing you or not. Because I can't see a screen, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> My headphones off. Anyways, Kelsey died, and I'm emo after when Finn's reading the letter, and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Ow, Finn, I'm so excited about this, you guys. I am so, so into this. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something cool. Just wait, guys. Bad idea. 
only April. Well, when you're watching this, it will be April 1st. Hopefully, if all goes to plan. Because that is your birthday. <laughs> so, my name is Kelsey. I'm 34. Never learned how to read. I don't know why that's the immediate thing my brain does whenever I put a wig on. I did it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And, oh, I forgot to do the thing, didn't I? Hold that thought. Crab. Okay. Here's the silly crab costume Casey got me. I said I would put it on in this video. So, there's that. Okay, hold on. There was just a sentence said, and I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm just gonna read it through, cause I don't. I can't understand. The sound was intensified by the hills at the rear, a noise that heralded death as sure as the clicking of knitting needles below the guillotines during the French Revolution. Am I missing a history thing? I have so many questions. I'm 52% in now. The crabs are attacking, as you can tell. Um, I'll be back. It seems like everybody works underneath this god who's like a real god that they know exists and is not like this just belief that they have. Like there's a real god who's just running things and that's such an interesting concept that I'm excited to see what kind of opens up there but it is I think something I've realized that I really do want to do and I'm going to continue working towards doing it because it's what I want and it doesn't seem impossible it seems out of reach right now but it doesn't seem impossible so I'm I'm gonna keep trying and keep working towards that and maybe one day I'll get there so beautiful I'm trying not to get the reflection of the window onto it because it's it's not as pretty like that, but like that, ooh, it's beautiful. You have it, this is my Zane. I put on like some eyeliner, just like a little bit, because in my heart, Zane wears eyeliner. Like I know he doesn't in the books, but like in my heart he does. Emo boy, resident emo boy of Lucidel coming at ya. Hello friends. Welcome to another video. Welcome to another low-key cosplay vlog. But I just really love it. I'm pretty sure Brie is filming me filming this, so that's good. Um, we'll ignore the tattoos. I don't think Alrion has any tattoos, but that's fine. I don't want to cover them up, and I don't really know how to. So, this is the wig. I'll try and get a shot in, like, my mirror or something after the live show so you can see the skirt. But basically, we're just going to pan down. It's just a big puffy skirt. Ignore all of my stuff from doing my makeup. But, yeah, it's just a big puff. Because she's described as like a puffball. So, hello, reading vlog. <clears throat> Whew, I haven't talked much this morning. Uh, this morning. It's 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 p.m. It's going great. I Today is Tuesday night, and our live show is on Friday afternoon. So, I mean, obviously, I've read this book before. Like, it's not going to kill me if I don't finish it before the live show. This is like my fifth time reading it. But I would like to. It's like a matter of principle and pride, you know? I gotta. <laughs> well, I am super happy with how this turned out. Four out of four out of five, I gave five stars. In the last one, I gave four stars. That is great for me. I'm very pleased with that. It's just nice when you expect to give a book a high rating, and then you do. I will say it took me longer to get through all of these books than I was hoping it would, and the graphic novel, and the graphic novel, which I was kind of hoping would be the first one I got to, was the last one I got to. I'm officially ahead on my Goodreads goal, which is just, great and insane to me. Oh, also I cut my hair. I should have probably acknowledged that at the beginning of the video, but I didn't. I cut my hair. It's it's not super even, but I don't care anymore. Okay, listen, I don't care anymore. I just wanted it shorter. It was getting on my nerves, so I chopped my own hair straight out of the shower because sometimes that's just how it be. I've also It's changing now, now that we're editing. It's a changing. It's fine. I went ahead and did my, my book two plot points. And it's just a very small stack. And I have a book three one over here too. I don't even know how long the series is going to be. Like I want to aim for a trilogy, but it's probably more like four books. Maybe more than four. <laughs> don't look at me. I've snuck into the ball and they're all dolled up and ready to go. And I'm just, they're about to have their dance. Like the dance that we waited this whole time. They never got to have their dance. And then you get, I'm emotional about their, their little dance scene. I am Vin. I will embody Vin in every way because I am Vin and Vin is me. And I just, 
I love this character so much, so I'm so happy I got to cosplay her again in a fancy fun dress. It just it was a good time, and now I have a new fancy dress out of the, the ordeal, so. I'm gonna die. Why did I just like dancing in this video? It was a good idea. Fuck you, Casey. Love you. Happy birthday. You could even change the world as long as you try really hard. Can't make the world a better place. Don't settle for someone else's dream. Don't look back. I've always been different. I never took the easy It's the crab life. <sighs> None of this is making sense so far. I'm so sorry, future me, that you have to. We're just gonna start over again. I'm tired. I'm feverish. I'm very tired. Yes. But I finished Hero of Ages last night at 5 a.m. and then I slept a few hours, and now it's now. And I drank uh, like a half a bottle of Pedialyte. I still have some of my coffee left. I'm probably gonna drink the other half of the Pedialyte while we do our live show, cause you know. Keeping it real with y'all, I'm gonna need it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It also smells really good, you know? You know how new books smell good? It's got that smell. Oh, god damn it. Caledon! So beautiful. Like, look at it. Look at it. For those of you who don't know, the first ideal is a tattoo on my wrist. So, you know. How much these books are a part of me. Um, we're the planet. Hello, my name is Darkside. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dayside. <laughs> and we are Tall Dane. We're yeah. the two halves of Tall Dane the planet. We're also two halves of a whole idiot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Things I have. I actually won in a Goodreads giveaway, which happens like once every six years. I think I've won two giveaways since 2009. <laughs> so, attempt at um, a look of facial hair it's not it's not great it's not great I'll, I'll be honest um, but it's really fucking funny so I don't actually know if I'm gonna try to do any better <laughs> So, <laughs> that's why I've not updated since then, because I didn't actually read anything. So, uh, take two, let's try that again. I'm still basically where I said I was last time. I'm on, wow, look at this, I stopped 
right before the end of the chat last page of a chapter is where I stopped that's how bad I felt I couldn't just fucking finish the page um, so I'm about to be on chapter 15 King axes, king of king. Live shows in a little over two hours. I'm ready so early. Uh, I'm gonna give you a full look outside of the bathroom here in a moment, but I just wanted to pop up because I thought it was funny. Um, yeah, I don't know if I actually like what I did here with my makeup as much as like some of the tests that I did, but it's too late to fix it. So, um, plain, 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 plain. I look so tired. I put some concealer on, but it's... Concealer can't help me, <laughs> honestly. It's really hard not to dance when there's like a drum beat going. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. <laughs> when Casey is giving you ideas, if Casey ever is ever helping any of you, with your book ideas, just know that she's gonna go as dark as she can with it. She loves to traumatize. Anyways, the coolest thing about these graphic novels is the tea dragons themselves, at least to me. Like, of course, I love the characters, I love the storylines and everything, but to me, the tea dragons are just the best part. They're so cute. They actually like grow tea out of their heads that you can like pluck and then make tea with. It doesn't like hurt them or anything. They're just adorable tea dragons. Murderbot as a character is fascinating I just I love I love him I love his like snarky sense of humor his like self-deprecating jokes how much he just wants to like just watch TV he just wants to chill and watch TV you know he doesn't want to be doing all these other things and how like just fed up he is with like human stupidity it's great oh my god this wig feels so anime I say as someone who does not really watch anime but I feel like there's a lot of white-haired characters in anime which is like a, a lot going on Honestly, I don't, I don't hate it. I was trying to figure out if I want to give it a haircut, right? Because it's a little all over the place, but I kind of like that. Okay, I just want to say I took some thumbnail pictures in both wigs, and I definitely think in the pictures, the blue one looks worse. So I think we're going to stick with the white one, but I am going to check and see which one just shows up like looking better on my webcam. But I think we're going with the white wig, which I mean, I, I prefer simply because I bought this one. My boyfriend already owns the, the blue one, so it's like, if I bought this for $30 and then end up not using it, I would be a little annoyed. So, full-on anime axes it is. Characters, I don't remember her name, to be quite honest with you. I don't remember our main character's name. But that her sister is dating Apollo, which is the son, obviously. You probably know that. And that just sounds really interesting to me. I would probably read that book, even though I wasn't super crazy about this one. I would definitely read the next one. I don't know if there will ever be a next one, but I would definitely read it. So I don't know what that says about my thoughts about it, but that's how I feel. I think that might be all I had to say about Witching Moon, by the way. All right, so this is my final look. We went very green for the eyes. They're not even, but honestly, I don't really care that much. Um, as you can see, the cover is lots of blues, oranges, yellows, reds. Got a lot of tones in here. I'm just basically going to be pulling from like just this color palette. That's what I'm doing. Um, and just kind of doing like an eyeshadow look to match it. That's what we're going for. Okay, so I did whatever the fuck this is. Um, I tried to get like the blue, red, orange, and yellow all in. I don't really know that it's a good look for me. That yellow especially. But it kind of matches the color. What do you think? Did I do it? Was I successful? Spoiling for all the books here. If you thought I was kidding, I was not. We're going full out here, so keep that in mind, friends. I don't know why I keep pointing at you threateningly with my pencil, but sometimes that's just how it be, you know? So, and I'm just, I love this book so much. Okay, this is, I meant to take a break after the interludes, but I obviously didn't. So I'm gonna take a break now, I'm gonna take my makeup off, I'm gonna get a drink, maybe a snack, and then I'm gonna read some more. I'm on page to 11 right now. Currently we're looking like this, which is definitely a chunk at the very least. Definitely a chunk in. I hit myself in the face, but we'll ignore that part. Also, we're coming up with the things that like I knew for sure were happening in book two. 
then me and Casey and Haley, we all forgot about Nyla. And we were like, oh my god. So I had to like write down it all caps. Like, we forgot Nyla. We can't fucking forget Nyla while we're outlining this book. And I've started outlining part three. I think I know, well, <laughs> I don't know anything. Is this how their eyebrows would look? Or do they grow in this, like, you know how your eyebrows grow in this direction? This is your Phelan question rundown time. People have different eyebrows. No eyebrow is the same, so it's probably fine. And so I have a pot of grass. <laughs> I have a tiny, tiny pot. Cosplaying as Casey's character. Boom. As Casey's um, character Molly from her book. And I will show you guys what Casey and Haley are cosplaying as if you missed the live show. Friends. Hello. That's got to focus. Hello. There we go. Wizard the cat. Love it. Jillian Laloon. Casey couldn't figure out how to spell Laloon. It was a good time. And me, Miss Molly Adams. So that's that's what we're doing. Oh no, go on your thingy. Oh, you're zoomed in. No, that's a bad face. Um, we're doing great. Doing great. I wrote a thousand words of fan fiction for you. All right, so it is NaNoWriMo day 10. It's only four in the morning on the 10th. I've not slept yet from the 9th, but where I left you at on the 9th was at 49,000, so you know what this update is. 50k in 10 days. I don't know. I can't, I don't know what to do with that. Guys, I don't know what to do with that. I'm so tired. Yeah, my plan. <laughs> What's my plan? We like took a break from writing that night and went on a rabbit hole listening to this band. And we listened to like so much of their discography and added a lot of their songs to my playlist. Hang on, let's see how many are on there. I think we added like 18 of their songs to my playlist. And I liked a lot of their other music too. Um, but I was like just, I was just trying to add music that actually fit like the vibes and the characters and stuff. Um, but anyways, it's this band called Set It Off and Casey and I are obsessed with them. Hello friends. Oh, my voice sounds terrible today. I've not spoken out loud since I got up. So, that's fun. Um, so this is me cosplaying as my own character, Jensen Laloon. Um, not the best. She would have done it better, but you know, what can you do? Oh, now, yeah, this is just my little attempt at being my own character for our Night of Writing Fancy Live show. Casey is actually dressing up as this character's twin, my other character, Jillian Laloon. Um, and I will show you that after this clip. But my clip for free! Okay, hi guys. You don't normally see me like this. Normally you see me through Bree's computer screen. But today, you get to see me as Jillian again in this fancy outfit. So here we go. I'm gonna pan down. Um, I'm just in like a fancy dress. That's very low cut and is like sparkly with like silver, silver stars and stuff. They're very cute. It's so hard to show you. There you go. They're shiny now. I turned like my lamp on to try and show you, but yes, I am shiny and Jillian. So, you know, the two best things really being shiny and Jillian. Also ignore anything you can see in the background. Bye. Do you ever look at the date and be like, time has lost all meaning? Um, because we figured out that he doesn't have any social skills or know how to text people and he texts like a grandma and he doesn't it's just cute it's like it's really cute honestly a little sad but really cute but the first week i was feeling generally very good about what i was writing which is its own plot twist <laughs> and i'm i'm feeling very not good about it now so it's like it's you know it's been on brand because the book right now is currently titled descent and it was like i started up here and we've just been going down. my word count has gone up but my like mental state, my physical health, and my um, like confidence in my ability to write good things is all going down, descending. Uh, <laughs> anyways, hey guys, little vlog update. It's a oh, it's 5:30 on the final day, and I just killed a character. So this is what's happening now, and they won't stop laughing at me. They're giving they're giving a eulogy. <laughs> And they're giving out a eulogy for my character while I'm just crying. Because uh, I don't know if you guys cry when you kill characters, but I do. So. Merry Christmas. Time to cry. <laughs> this is like the day after Christmas in my book. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, 
She hasn't finished to die. I mean, she just died, but now I'm like switching POV so we can deal with that. And they just started having eulogy. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. So it's so me. How you sleeping easy? How you only thinking of yourself? Show me how you just a fire. Tell me how your life's like second nature. Let's see, mark my words one day. You will pay. You will pay. Gonna, gonna come collect your debt. Gonna come collect your debt. I am wrapped up like this so completely. I have a onesie, a blanket, and a beanie on because my heat is out. <laughs> so this is, this is just how I'm coming to you today. I hope you enjoyed this, this look. I put lipstick on so it looks like I have my life together. And there you have it. Um, this is mostly just something that's fun for me to do for me and Casey. I don't actually know how many people watch the whole thing. Uh, but it was fun to, to go through the clips and like make this video even if we didn't do as many videos this year or you know 99% of our videos were all Cosme or Crabalon content which you know I'm not mad about but less variety um, and for anyone who's like still sticking around and like wanting to actively watch our videos still even though we've not been like on top of it lately thank you please just like be patient with us while we're trying to get our feet back on the ground here um, now that we're done with the Cosmere read-along that we were doing all of last year, we're kind of like trying to just take a breath before we get back into like normal booktube content stuff, but we are planning on doing that. We do love to make these videos and stuff, so like we do plan to do more. Um, we're just trying to get, get back into it at our own pace and not rush it because it was getting really, really hard there for a, a little while and we were having to like force ourselves to do things because we were hosting a read-along and like we couldn't pull out of that and so we got really burnt out. <laughs> so we're trying to slowly come back to it but yes thank you anyone for your patience with us and yeah also if you're wondering about this weird makeup look I did my boyfriend got me these very fancy flowers and this fancy red vase and so I tried to match my makeup look to the flowers with reds and pinks. I don't normally do this kind of makeup look but I wanted to match my very pretty flowers for my boyfriend, so they smell really good. Also, I'm wearing this really cute little cat with a heart shirt that my boyfriend got me um, back on our anniversary, so thought it went with the look. So here's my pretty flowers. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Thank you for all of those people who have stuck with us here on this second year on booktube, and we look forward to going into our third year on booktube with you guys, and hopefully, we do so. <laughs> Hopefully we make it into the third year and continue this project because we do really enjoy it but we've we've had to pull back a little bit because we weren't enjoying it and that's not booktube's fault that's like you know our brains being bad <laughs> and they're still being bad. We're not really doing better right now but hopefully now that we're not having to force ourselves to make content for the Cosmere Crab Along which also we still are behind on posting cosplay videos. We will get those up soon, but regardless, I don't even know what I was saying. I'm so out of practice for making videos. Um, I'm just gonna end this because I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Life Before Death Radiance.